Hello Cancer, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee, and we are looking at your July horoscope for 2021. So just to recap, this is the year of the ancestor. You started out this year by listening to you be the drum, walking your own path, walking your own journey, making a decision, right? But you, you know, you're doing things your way, all right? And that's what Spirit wants you to do. Uh, in January, you were, you were reborn, you took your self and you you know immerse yourself in the water you got rid of all of 2020 and you started things anew all right and february was represented by the king of bows all right and he was asking you know you of uh where do you need to take charge where do you need to take charge of your spiritual power all right or your magical power your healing power you know here you've been reborn where do you need to take charge and moving life forward okay where's your enthusiasm leading you taking on that kingly aspect of what you know he wants you to do all right and and Bo is all about fire and creativity okay it's it's action energy all right it's um you know this the adder is looking at you and saying you know where do you need to take charge in your life in your relationships in your work situation you know you just been reborn you know where do you want to go how, how do you want to do things that was gone going on in february in march the queen of vessels showed up you know maybe there was some self-sacrifice at salmon um, you know, but you do have, you know, both the king and the queen are sitting out there, and, and it, which is nice, okay, because, you know, here they're giving you that kingly and queenly advice of what's going on. And, you know, wherever you took charge, this queen is asking, asked in the month of March, um, you know, what was enchanting you? You know, what do you need to devote yourself to? And those were some tough questions in March, because April, April you went into seclusion. You know, you went into hibernation mode. You went into hermit mode. And that's what the hooded man stands for. You're looking within. You become introspective and you're searching. You know, you're not really searching for answers, but you're looking for answers. You're asking, you're asking yourself to connect to the spiritual, the divine, the universal. And you're saying to yourself, you know, what's my path? You know, I've, I've been reborn. I need to move on this year. You know, how do I do that? In May was the end of a journey. The World Tree, another life lessons card. You know, three of them popped up here in a row for you for the first six months. You know, you walk that maze. You know, you come to the tree and, you know, you're about ready to go through the tree and gain that wisdom and knowledge, right? It's the end of a journey, the start of another journey. All right? And in the last month, it was all about manifesting. Manifesting what you want, Cancer. Manifesting, you know, that that security, that stability, manifesting that thought process, that logic, that reasoning, reasoning of the of the air, you know, uh, manifesting that creativity that you have, all right, and moving forward, manifesting that security, you know. You did all that in the month of June. You put things in process to, to, to set up to your July. And let's see what July has for you now, Cancer. So Cancer, for the month of July, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull one card for the theme and then we're gonna tie the other one card for each week and tie those titles all together. So Cancer, what's the theme for the month of July for you? Four bow celebration. Um, you know, July is your month. So, you know, coming out of, coming out of June, going into July, uh, you know, it's an opportunity to celebrate. Celebrate with friends, celebrate with family, celebrate with loved ones. All right, um, celebrate with coworkers, right? Again, this is, you know, this is fire energy for the month. So, you know, it's gonna be a good opportunity to get out and do barbecues, get out and, uh, you know, celebrate with friends, um, you know, reunions or whatnot, however you wanna look at it. Um, Let's see what the weeks, let's see what the weeks come out for you, Cancer. That first week, and I'll tie all this back into to the theme, right? That first week is going to be represented by the Queen of Bows in here. And I'll clarify this and move it into the Four of Bows celebration. But, the, you know, again, this is fire energy. So the queen is the queen is coming out and she's going to give you that queenly advice, right? She's going to give you that that advice around that energy. Uh, she's going to look at 
you know, what's going on within within her realm that first week and how to make that party happen. Maybe maybe there's some planning involved for a party sometime in July. That second week is represented by the moon on the water. Life lessons card. Um, it's good, that second week is going to be an emotional week for you. Okay. Um, it's gonna, you know, because that's when the, you know, when the when the moon comes out, and it's a full moon, all right. Well, we just had a full moon here in, June, in at the end of June, and um, you know, if you watch my other video, I'll talk about why I haven't been posting the dailies of the full moons. Um, so check that out. Uh, it kind of explains what's going on. Um, but that that second week is going to be, you know, there's going to be some emotions going around, going along. All right, it's going to allow you to see some things in the dark. You know, from the light of the moon, you know, give you that understanding of, of where you're going during this this month of July for this four bows and celebration. The third week, Cancer, is going to be represented by the page of bows, the stoat. All right, now the page of bows is you know is that mystical link to the land, and you know in order for you to celebrate, you got the queen of bows down here too. So you know you've got some fire energy going on. There's going to be a message. A message coming at you all right and it's gonna ask you you know you know who or what is offering you that opportunity you know where are you gonna have the opportunities to celebrate right and you know if you engaged with that how how's that gonna engage how's that gonna make you feel all right to celebrate with others if you engaged with it whatever that thought process was and then the fourth week cancer is going to be represented by another life lesson card of the forest lovers. That fourth week, the forest lovers, it's all about love. It's all about harmony. It's all about balance. And that's going to, you know, and that's going to help you celebrate. All right. You're going to be with, you're going to be where you want to be in the month of July. Um, you're going to be with loved ones. You're going to be with, with uh, the significant other you wanted to be with. You may even find love during this period of July, and that's gonna you know that's gonna help you help you celebrate. So, Cancer, that's your July horoscope, the the four of bows in celebration, and uh, let's tie this in. So you know the Queen of Bows is coming at you. You know she she's all about you know fertility and spring, but you know if you're gonna have a celebration in the month of July, you need somebody to. Uh, take on that advice to throw that party for you, right? And, you know, this queen is asking you, how do you influence those around you? So maybe at the end of the month, you're going to have a party. And now you need to influence people to come to that party, all right? To, you know, be able to show you, you know, that, that family reunion, right? Be able to, um, you know, be with loved ones. Okay, and the other question is, is, you know, where do you need to be on more understanding? How do you put things in the, you know, how do you prepare for a party and hope everybody gets together. You're gonna to be very reflective of those thoughts from the first week, from what the Queen's got to say, okay? And your emotions are gonna be running high because you, you know, July is, is your, your part of your birth month, okay? So maybe you're, you're, you're preparing for, um, you know, that party in the first weeks of, of July, you know, first three weeks of July, because I think Leo comes out Actually, Leo comes up on the 24th of July. So, um, you know, here you are preparing that party. You're preparing that opportunity, you know, to, to celebrate with others, to bring people together. And then the page, page comes out, who's, you know, that mystical link to the land and says, you know, what is, what is, who or what is offering you that opportunity? You know, and how would you engage with this if you did? And in the fourth week, everybody comes together to celebrate, to hold hands, to kumbaya, you know, to give thanks, to be at peace, to be in harmony, to be with one, you know, with that forest lover's card. Emotional energy with the moon on the water, having you look, having you look uh, at the darkness, having that light shine in the darkness. But also knowing that you know you're 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 doing things in love. You're doing things 
because you love others. You're doing things because you love the one you're with. And that all gives you, you know, that celebration for the month, can cancer. Give you, gives you that four bows, that celebration. And there's a lot of fire energy here for the month, the theme. You know, so there's going to be some creative planning going around. There's going to be some creative action going around. All right? Engage with it. Plan it. Bring people together so you can have this four bow celebration in the month of July, Cancer. All right, so there you have it. That's the theme of the month. Four bows and celebration. Hit that like button for me, Cancer. Subscribe to the channel and share it with others. And this is D for Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you in the month of August. Take care, God bless, and stay safe.